road has some of the worst potholes. Oh. There's no way to avoid them either. They're all over the road. Okay. So today is what? Day 11? Yeah. That. Um, but the plan was I was going to drive to Montreal today after I went back to Kinnebunkport to get a couple stuff. A couple stuff. A couple things. I'm standing here in your presence in a grave so relentless I am one oh, by perfect love that's within the arms of heaven in a peace that lasts forever sick Drawing closer by grace and all my heart is yours. The plan was I was going to drive to Montreal today and then maybe Ottawa and stay the night there. But instead, um, last night I decided, well first off I wanted to talk about um, what it looks like whenever I show up to a city or a place to stay or something like that. Um, Miami is a great example of this. My first night in the car in Miami, I uh, didn't have anywhere to stay, so I ended up sleeping in my car, which was the plan. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but I pulled up to this like park. It was a pretty nice part of town. I mean, there's like rich houses, nice cars all around, stuff like that. So, I pull up to this like small city park, and I'm sitting like, like right in front of it, basically. It was on kind of like a back road, um, but you can still park on the street. So, I park on the shoulder, there's tons of other cars there, and it was fine. It was about nine o'clock or something like that, but, um, so I put up the uh, things on the windows and, you know, black it all out so that nobody can see in and I just kind of just get ready to go to bed just to get through the day, or get through the night rather. And I was just laying there just so scared. I mean, just like, what if somebody breaks in? What if somebody steals the bike, which was on top of my car? You know, what if somebody um, steals, you know, just like, tries to harm me or something like that like it was it was a very stressful night and ever since then that's kind of what every city has been in even if I don't stay the night in uh in my car when I was in New York I parked my car right out right outside the uh place I was staying and it, it was fine it was a pretty nice part of town but there was still that like fear that like what if somebody breaks in what if somebody you know steals all my stuff that I have and I don't have any way to get home what if somebody steals all my money um, when I'm walking around the city there's all this just fear of like what if somebody you know like, try, like hurts me or tries to kill me or kidnaps me or you know pickpockets me or take, takes my stuff you know and it was just very scary just being alone in the city but I mean there were tons of fun parts to, to the trip but um, when I was in New York, I caught two guys stalking me. Like, I was going off the subway and I was walking back to the apartment. And there were these two guys that were standing, like, right outside the, uh, you know, like, you walk up the steps to the uh, street level from the subway. And there are these two guys that are standing, like, right there. And as soon as I walk out, I, I see them and I walk past them. And then they start, like, they were standing there. I mean, they, they follow me. And then uh, after a couple blocks, I'm like, it's kind of weird. Uh, so I like walk over a couple blocks and take a left, go walk straight, take a right. You know, I go like a pretty weird pattern and they follow me the whole way, staying like probably two or three steps behind me. And eventually, once I got to the apartment, I just stopped. So I just stopped dead step and I turned to the side. So they, they just like walked right across me because if they didn't, if they just kept, um, like if they stayed there with me, they would have been pretty obvious that they were following me. But they kept going. So I was following them at this point. I, I wasn't that far from the apartment. But they kept like looking back to see like if I, if I was still there. Like, you know, it wasn't like, what is that guy doing? It was, I could tell that they're like, 
where is that, you know, like they're trying to figure out what I was doing. And now, I mean, I wasn't that scared at that moment, but I was like, these cities are like so dangerous just to be alone in these parts. And I was just tired of being scared of what if, you know, my stuff gets stolen, what if I get kidnapped, you know, just all that fear, but. So last night I was thinking, I'm like, man, I'm just not really looking forward to going to three more cities and having that same fear for three more days, which was, I would have gone to Montreal, Toronto, and then Cincinnati. Um, and I was just like, not looking forward to it at all. So that being said, I'm headed home right now, which this was um, plan B actually. Uh, this was actually plan A to begin with. Like, it's it was about three weeks ago when I decided that I didn't want to drive straight from Maine 20 hours back home so I, that's when I decided to go into uh, Canada because every city is uh, just like a few hours from each other so rather than driving 20 hours home I would drive five hours go to a city drive four hours go to a city you know and just break it up like that um, but I'm not I'm not gonna do that anymore. I'm not gonna go into Canada. So what I'm doing is I'm just driving as far as I can today. I'm in Massachusetts now. Um, I'm driving as far as I can today. I'll probably sleep in my car. Um, unless I can find somewhere else to stay, which I don't think it's gonna happen. Um, and then yeah, just finish off the driving tomorrow, which this isn't a bad thing. I'm not sad that the trip's over or anything like I kind of, I'm kind of glad that, you know, like I, I've seen everything that I want to see. You know, I, I did everything I wanted to do, which was drive from one end to I-95 to the other, and that's what I did. And I'm very content with the uh, the trip that I did, and I'm just, I'm just ready to be home, I guess. But I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I'm also tired of just like, you know, paying for every single meal of the day, part, you know, trying to figure out places to park and. You know, worry and mainly the worrying. I was thinking about it some more, and another reason that I'm ending the trip early is because at this point, every city just looks the same. You know, all it is is just a bunch of skyscrapers, maybe some city bikes, and then a park. Like it's it's just all the same. You know, there's it's not that interesting anymore. So, day 12. Nope, it was day 13. We are on the way. Basically, I don't, I'm not doing anything. I'm just driving home. I'm just trying to get home as quickly as possible. Right now, it looks like the uh, GPS says I'm gonna get there at about 5.30 tonight. It's like 7.30 right now. So I have like a 10 hour drive. It's not bad. I was driving for about that yesterday. But he said, the uh, Mark guy I was staying with, he said that a lot of, the, about half of this drive in between like Bristol, where I am now, and uh, Baltimore is uh, like I'm gonna go through like some valleys and mountains and stuff, and it's really pretty. So at least I have something to look at, but other than that, I mean, I'm just trying to get home as quickly as possible.
Okay, just getting back. Um, I'm pulling into, I'm driving through Madison now. I'm about to exit into Gillettesville. The trip's over, basically. Do a little recap. Um, what is different about this? What is different after this trip? Well, a few things. I know that I hate New York City. Um, I know that I'm actually, I figured out that I'm a really good driver, that I can drive for 20 hours and two, 21 hours and two days and um, be, be okay with it. Um, lastly, my uh, faith in God is as strong as it has ever been. I mean, just like me relying on Him for every single little detail of the trip has um, made our relationship just as strong as it's ever been. I mean, there's just so much stuff that has happened through the trip and I said, God, please help me. And then he answers, and that's just like, that's what the trip was about. That's why I needed to go on the trip. That's why God let this trip happen, so that things can happen, and I can uh, go to him for help in, in that situation. 12 days, 5,345 miles. Ended up seeing, like nine different cities wow. Wow. well pulling off the interstate for the last time I guess that's it but what a great trip what a great trip